Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from ExecuteAutomation.com and today we're going to talk about working with test object by creating parameterized test objects in Catalan Studio. And once again, this is going to be a complete continuation of our previous video. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch the previous video because in this particular video, we're going to use exactly the same code from that video. All right, so let's get started. All right, so in our previous video, we were actually working with one of the object from the object repository as you can see in here and then we were adding a particular property and we also saw some of the problem using that because we actually have to set at least one particular properties detect by as checked in this checkbox. So that was one of the problem that we saw before and we also resolved this issue by creating our own custom object property type. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to store all these different kinds of way that we can use so this is the way one that we used in our last video and this is way two where you can actually work with your custom object of your own type so i'm gonna kind of comment this particular piece of code as well because i'm not actually going to work with the one single object type what if there are two different object properties which has to be used to detect the username text box so this is the way three of working with it so what i'm going to do is basically I'm going to use exactly the same way of writing the code as we did before. I'm going to create a my object, test object, maybe objects, uh, or maybe my test object is fine. And then I am going to uh, add a list of properties for that. So basically for adding a list of properties, I'm going to use a list of java.util. It's actually an interface. So I'm going to use the test object property class and then I'm gonna name it as something like properties is equal to and new of array list of oops test object properties so you can see that the intelligence is once again not working pretty well which is okay because we know how Java or uh, Groovy is actually working while working with an uh, array or something like that so I'm going to use that and then I'm going to say properties dot and you can see that in order to set a particular properties for that uh, for that object you can use a method which is available called as and because you're going to add within the array so you're going to use the add and then you need to create a new of test object property and you can see the intelligence this time is showing us that we have to enter the name of the particular property and the condition and the value remember this is exactly the same thing that we saw in our previous video we're going to pass the x path and the condition type as equals and the id as this and uh, this is how we perform the operation for the particular x path right so i'm going to do exactly the same thing basically i'm just going to cheat like copy pasting this particular piece of line in here so that I really save some time in typing and oops just created something over there so I'm going to space that that's one particular property what is another property that I'm looking for let's say I know that it has uh, a value something different let's say test object and we can actually get that from uh, the existing object repo I don't really have to hunt somewhere for that so if I double click this you can see that uh, it's actually has a name of a username or maybe it has a type of text something like that so you can identify it with any one of the different kinds of property that you got so let's say uh, I have this name as a username so I'm just gonna do that so I'm gonna go all the way here and I'm gonna set the name and the conditional or condition type dot equals as um, as a username that's it that's the another property that we got and then we need to actually perform on the actual object so basically we have to set these properties to this particular uh, custom object that we just created so I'm gonna set the object this time and this we can do using what is called as a set object method so well, the intelligence is not working at all again so there is something called as uh, set properties Ooh. It's not there yet set properties and I'm gonna set the properties as the properties that we just created all right now the intelligence is working 
all right now we have them and if I save it and now if I want to perform the operation pretty much exactly the same thing that we saw before so I'm just gonna copy these guys uh, paste it over here and this particular uh, custom username let's call this as uh, from properties object something like that I'm gonna save it this time so that's it so this is how we can actually work so basically we are gonna create a list of properties we're gonna add the particular properties for the particular object using the set properties for the custom object that we just created and then I'm gonna perform the operation like sending a text for that and now I'm gonna quickly run this and see how it works I'm just run on the Chrome browser and you can see that the Chrome is gonna spawn and hopefully it should enter the value that we just entered in the code there there we go there we go from proper because it has the maximum limit of 10 in the text box so it's not entering everything that you are seeing here which is cool and you can see that we are actually able to run the test by creating our own object of different properties for that particular UI element which is once again cool and if you want to do a negative test what if I try to uh, do the input of like 2 or something like that and now if I try to run this you can see that the test should fail theoretically and I guess it is gonna fail so let's see what's really gonna happen so you should see that the test is not gonna enter into the test box and the test will fail there we go I guess we're gonna see some failure there yeah we have this failure on there and it says oh it's still finding the element I guess it's not failed yet which is so cool again so it's trying to see some heuristic mechanism and it's waiting for the default timeout of the Catalan studio uh, and it's trying to find the element and see if it's really gonna there or not so basically it's, it's cannot able to find the element because that element doesn't exist and the test actually failed all right the green symbols show something very positive to us but actually it has failed and it says that the from test uh, from properties object uh, of this one is not set for this custom object because the UI element doesn't exist which is cool so you can see that we actually are able to perform the operation of identifying the element using multiple properties all right so this is the third way so this is the only way only three ways that you can perform the operation on the objects in Catalan studio finally I would also have to see that if I could able to get a value out from an object so basically I just want to see that if the particular object is something which I can retrieve and see or print or maybe debug during runtime and play around with that particular object for further processing so that we can do very very easily using the get properties method so get property of uh, an UI object so that we can do using what is called as so I'm gonna say like active properties or maybe yeah properties is equal to uh, my test object and I'm gonna say uh, get properties and then this is gonna return me the different properties which it has and I can also do a for each uh, loop so basically I just double click that you go and you can just since it's a collection of value so I can just pass the active properties here and uh, let's call this as prop and you can just print the particular value like prop dot of uh, name or something like that right I'm gonna save this and I'm quickly going to debug this and I'm gonna show you in debug mode like how it's gonna look like so because we have not shown anything on the debug side so I'm just interested to show you in the debug mode uh, and see how it works so basically I'm gonna set a breakpoint there all right so this is the breakpoint and I'm gonna again set a breakpoint here and now I'm gonna debug this test so basically it should enter a value there but it also has to get a value uh, property value out from there all right so it has opened the browser and it has entered the value and it is saying that it has to switch to the debug perspective I'm gonna say yes and now the window has switched to the debug perspective 
and you can see that uh, we are into this particular debug mode and let me debug one more time all right so now if you see the prop here we can see that it has a name of xpath and the value of this one so this is actually coming from this particular value that we have just set before so similarly if i try to debug this particular value something like that maybe you can get the another value from this so now this time the prop should be uh, like name as username do we have it yep name is equal to username right so this is how you can get the dynamic value out from an object during runtime and then you can perform the another operation or maybe some additional operation for the particular object property type based on the value that you're written here like something like disabled object or something like that so this is how we can work with the test object parameterization in catalan studio so once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day